Thank you. So good afternoon. Thank you for attending this presentation. I'm going to talk about the methodological framework for supporting transferability and implementation of practices in, in the health and care systems. Uh, so this is the work by THCS, that is a European Partnership uh, on Transforming Health and Care Systems. And it's a co-funded action under the Horizon Europe program. So um, this work started uh, this year and it continues until 2029. And it has 63 partners in 26 countries that, that are involved. And here you can see the budget as well. Uh, there are three pillars and um, I'm going to tell you about the work package for methodological and assessment framework work. So in this uh, work package, we, um, we are developing this uh, methodological framework to support the transfer and implementation of practices. And the first draft of the framework will be um, ready quite soon, uh, this coming January. And then it's available for testing. So why, why do we need this, um, this model? We, in Europe, uh, we are facing a similar challenges and problems in, in each country, uh, including demographic and epidemiological transitions, population aging, and with increase of the incidence and prevalence of chronic diseases, and multiplication of health and social problems with a diminishing of budgets. So we need innovative solutions and practices for organizing, producing and del delivering health and care um, to meet these uh, challenges and problems. Uh, the problem is that uh, it is not that we wouldn't have workable solutions, but the problem is that, um, uh, that if some solutions have worked and been successful in certain contexts, it's sometimes difficult to scale and transfer those uh, solutions across uh, organizations, uh, even countries. So the obstacles in, in transferring practices across the system is the, um, that lack of findability, there's uh, insufficient documentation about practices. Um, there are lack of models and tools that enable the evaluation of transferability of solutions. And there's a lot of complexity questions because the contexts are different. There are different goals, interests, expectations, resources, workforces, etc. And of course, there's always a question of the, the engagement and interest of adopting uh, and, uh, and to learn from other, uh, other uh, areas. In this work package, uh, there has been um, a scoping review and um, we, uh, we um, studied a sample of existing reviews on transferability, um, existing methodological frameworks for supporting transferability and implementation. And uh, 19 reviews and 21 frameworks were included and um, some examples of the conclusions that were drawn um, were about defining theoretical commitments of the frameworks, um, the key, key concepts, um, and then how the model is uh, conceptualized, and what are the principles of the innovational activity. And uh, the themes concerning transferability and implementation, which were found in the reviews and frameworks, can be characterized in this, uh, as is in this picture or figure. In overall, part of the reviews and frameworks were more focused on analyzing the original practice in a system, while others focused more on the adaptation and implementation of existing practices to new environments and systems. Some of the material obtained a more holistic view and focused on the entire process. So what en enables the transferring practices across the systems? So important is to share uh, reliable and practical knowledge on a given solution for its transferability. 
uh, understanding in depth the maturity in requirements of transferring solution and how they fit the local needs and conditions of the receiving context. And then the alignment and management of expectations uh, and ambitions of and resources in the adapting organizations to success, successfully adapt and implement the transferring solution and awareness raising of the benefits of the proposed transferring solution. And then um, important is the change um, management engagement for the adapt adaptation process. So what is the, the framework that it supports on we are um, building? Here you can see the, the, the first version. The model defines the key tasks for of the innovation activity for proceeding from challenge to sustainable solution and change. The model emphasizes especially the tasks of adapting and implementing solutions from the original context of development to another context. However, the model consists of two paths, adapting and implementing a solution uh, developed elsewhere. And the second is developing and implementing a novel solution when a suitable solution to meet the local needs is not founded. So the path two is characterized an open uh, model because the developers of a solution in the original context should produce valuable knowledge of the solution concerning in its core elements and futures and how to expect it outcomes are achieved by them. The model encourages the original developers modeling the solution as a model, which consists of the purpose, the hypothesis of the outcomes and change to be achieved and the theory of how the outcomes and change will be achieved by mobilizing and, and acting the needed acti actors, activities, and elements. And these kind of models can then be used and adapted by other systems. So the development process is not linear. That's why this is not a linear picture in the sense that when you have performed the task, you can move to the next task and there is no right order for performing the different tasks. You must iterate and go back and forth between the tasks until the entire process is finished. Thank you. This was my presentation.